Let's look at declaring and assigning variables. And this is in your scripting basics. You can look at the variables.php file itself. And in the editor, we have the actual PHP code here. Looks very similar to what we have in the output. Remember that that is just HTML that looks like PHP code. It's not really PHP code. It needs to have this in between here. And what separates it is just the notation of what you're using. We're using straight HTML to process those characters so that we don't make anything confusing for us. We don't want to make it confusing and have that execute twice. It's only really just designed that way. So if we look over here, you can see that. The ampersand LT semicolon is the less than sign. And then we have question mark PHP. And if we just had that less than sign, it would, it would mess things up there. It would take it literally to mean that's PHP code. Anyway, so what we do here is we actually assign a variable. Remember, dollar sign here, you have to remember that dollar sign in front of all your variables equals to, and we're assigning a value of 21. Now, we can reassign that anywhere else by putting dollar sign age is equal to 21 or 43 or whatever. Another variable, for example, we'll see that as well, something like this. Down here, we can add things together. This will be 17.5. We can assign decimal place values. We can work with Booleans, which are true or false values, which are very important. Everything has a dollar sign. We can work with strings in the double quote or single quote. I'll explain the differences. We'll do a lot with strings. And you get the idea. You can separate a name out, whatever variable you want. Take it literally to mean whatever that is. So this has a space in between. If we put these two together in another assignment somewhere, we'll see that more in strings then there would be no space in between because these two don't have spaces there. So it's taken literally. All right, so we can actually uncomment this as well. That's basic assigning variables. You don't have to worry about declaring anything. Once you start to use it straight away, then it's just assigned. In other languages, you might have to assign something and you need to declare it first and then you'll get a syntax error if you don't declare it. Well, it works just like you would expect with JavaScript and even what you've done with ActionScript. But in the C world and C++ and things like that, C Sharp or Java, you have to declare something in the professional programming languages. Well, this is professional as well, but it's not the more detailed, hardcore programming languages. So you don't have to declare it. But also note that when you work with something here, these variables are only accessible from this particular page. We're not dealing with functions yet. And we don't have to worry about global variables yet. That's something else. But it's only accessible in this page. Keep that in mind. We have another page. We can't see these variables. I'll explain all of that later. But to continue, one little extra piece here. Now, we do print these values out. That just echoes it to the actual web page there that gets sent back to the browser. You can use echo or print. One little tricky thing we'll see more than a couple times later to help us out in keeping our code very small and efficient is the double dollar sign here. You know that we can assign dollar sign day to a text value of Tuesday, a string value of Tuesday. What you might not have known is that you can actually assign a variable to a name here, day, which is still text, still a string. And when you put the double dollar sign, what it does is it takes this value and sticks it, this value here, day, and sticks it here and essentially is like saying assign day to Friday. And then it does the extra thing of getting rid of the quotes. And it's just like saying dollar sign day is equal to Friday. It's a shorthand thing and it helps you out when you're writing programs that are creating programs within programs. When you're creating dynamic text, you're doing a lot of processing for loops to get values back from a data or processing from a database or working with arrays, for example, that really, really helps out. So, and we can just take a peek at that. And it's going to be right here at the top. Note that it's taken literally. There's no space in between there because that value and that value are taken literally. If we take a peek, print dollar sign, dollar sign var, that's saying dollar sign var is equal to day and then dollar sign day is equal to Tuesday. Well, we reassigned it there, so it's now equal to Friday. So that's what gets printed out. And you can also see here, this is the exact same thing to us. But in the computer world, 
It knows it's different. It knows it's more complex, but it really is the same thing. We'll see that later. It's a little bit complex for the beginning sections here, but just another interesting way to look at how you can assign things. And also note, we'll look at this as well. This would unset that variable. When you do this up here, all of this here, when you actually assign something on these other lines, you're actually setting a variable. It is no longer unset. It is now set. And then if you want to get rid of that value and make it the variable actually unset, you can do that. We'll see that as well. We'll just comment that back out and you get the idea.